Welcome to this EM360 video. We recently attended the Poly offices to learn from their hybrid panel event on the future of work. Their comprehensive report titled Evolution of the Workplace surveyed 7,261 hybrid workers who provided amazing insight including that 64% feel the pandemic has caused office culture to change forever. So what does the office offer that the home does not? How can you ensure equality for remote workers? And which job functions are performed better in an office or home environment? Well, we spoke to leaders within Poly to get their thoughts on all of this. Well, I think we were going to the office by default before COVID. We weren't really thinking about it. We were just doing it. Um, but most organizations did have some kind of agile working program before COVID. So people were already working in a mobile way, you know, um, and we know um, from, you know, the research into building occupancy that we were only using our buildings 60% of the time before COVID. So actually there was a lot of mobility there anyway. Organizations that potentially, or even, even leaders potentially who will not see that the world has definitely changed. You know, we, we've, we've now, as, I, as I've mentioned before, we've now tasted a new happiness. We've experienced mm -hmm. what it is to, you know, work in home and, and actually on the whole, we've delivered us do in, in, in doing that. So what, what's not to like? Well, what's not to like for some people is I can't see you. I, I feel I'm not in control. I feel that in fact, uh, I'm not seeing the, the output that I was uh, expecting. And the output I was expecting was everyone together and creating noise together. Those are the wrong metrics. It's about the getting together and socialising. That's what people have missed. And we've looked at the survey and the survey findings showed clearly that's, that's the number one topic. Um, what they haven't missed is that commuting. There has to be a purpose for doing that. A part of that is going to be to come to an environment which is not at a desk, not desk space. It's, it's potentially going to be a little bit more task orientated. So there is a purpose and specific reason to be there. But for them, it's going to be about that social element. It's about that understanding of the culture. It's about the learning, the development. Um, and, and for many instances, and especially those people who that age range of 18 to 24 who joined the company for the last uh, with the last 18 months, mm -hmm. they themselves have a, a little bit of anxiety about getting back to the office for the first time because they actually haven't met anyone. Um, and for themselves, I think the biggest concern, and it's shown in the surveys, is, is whether the development is actually really happening um, and how it can happen as a remote from home. But this is our chance to reinvent Poly as a complete experience company. Mm -hmm. And so how do I make sure that in the meeting, around the meeting, whether it's knowledge workers or maybe eventually we extend beyond knowledge workers, we're kind of defining an experience that makes the future of work transformative. And so I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the team, let's think big, right? Yeah. The, the world has changed in a massive, massive way. And the opportunity for Poly is uh, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So now we need to get super close to our customers and stay tight to what their needs are. But yeah. if we think about that much more holistically, I think there's a, there's a radical growth opportunity for Poly ahead of us. It's an exciting time and I uh, wish you guys the best of luck. And thanks for talking to me today, Dave. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.